Congratulations. I know everybody is so influenced by your work in that film. What, what, how did you even start the process? Well, the thing is, uh, you know, I mean, one of, the, one of the big, big clues for this movie is, like, we came back to the book, and, you know, Victor Hugo's book is full of references, like, you know, it's like, um, explains so many things of how people dress at the period, and what sort of, like, relationships did they have, in, you know, between, you know, different classes and different, different, you know, different people. And that was like a big, big, big help. You know, Tom Hooper, when I got to the movie for the first time, Tom Hooper said to me, I want you to read this book. And their book is like that big. And I said, but do you think I will have any time, really? And he said, yes, you have to find the time. Then, you know, I was reading it like constantly, but it was really, really helpful. And then, you know, we went to the sources of the period that obviously, they, you know, they are like, you know, all the paintings and we did a really, really amazing trip to Paris and uh, we went to Le Musée de Louvre, a Louvre uh, and, you know, and saw all the amazing paintings by Delacroix and, you know, Angre, uh, David, and that was, that was the major sort of like, you know, base for my work. And as you, as you got into the process, did you have everything going in or did some things change along the way? Oh yeah, definitely, you know, I mean, I think, you know, you have to think that movies are a really organic process and, you know, I mean, for example, uh, uh, Elena Bonancarta, I had some ideas for her, but then she came along and uh, we, never, we never had worked with, with, you know, with each other, you know, before and when she knew that I was from Spain, she just said to me, do you know my mother is from Spain? And she started like, talking to me in a sort of Spanish and then I thought, after that I thought, I had to try to make her cart a little bit more Spanish. And then, you know, her, you know, one of her outfits is like full of matador embroideries. Because I just thought you had to, I mean, I always like to put things that I find in the process into the story. And, you know, that, we did that. And in, in, the, in, the, in the case of Anne Hathaway, you know, her last red dress, I mean, it wasn't supposed to be a red dress like that, but then, you know, uh, after, we, you know, we talked to each other and we thought, you know, it, she needed to be like a little bit much more sort of like with a more violent color, then we changed to the color, you know, then, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I include a lot of things. I love to work and find things in the process, you know, I think that's very important. And I love to work, to work with actors quite, you know quite a lot then you know we can feed, have a feedback from each other you might say to me oh well you know I think this women is is uh, a little bit more extreme than you think or or, or whatever and I, and I always try to uh, incorporate that in you know in in the design well she was fantastic because the thing is she was so committed to the to the to the job. She was like, so I mean, the thing is, you know, she for example, she wanted to cut her hair on a stage, and we were saying, oh, you are mad, you are mad. Why do you need to do that? We have weeks. And she said, no, because I want authenticity. And I think, you know, that's fantastic that she was like so committed. That's the reason she has this amazing performance. That I hope she win the Oscar. You know, I hope so. And just what does it mean for you to be here tonight, getting this? Well, I mean, the thing is, you know, it's so amazing that, you know, they, in, you know, your, your, your mates or your, your, the people who does exactly the same as you do, like the costume designers are thinking that, you know, you are worthy of this nomination. This is just like a gift. And, you know, and to be nominated for the Oscars, you know, we all, we all have, you know, we all have dream with, with Hollywood. And suddenly, you know, to be nominated for something that, as I was saying to one of your colleagues, I thought that, that just could happen to Jack Nicholson, and you know, and suddenly it happens to you. I mean, you know, it's amazing, just amazing. Yeah.